In this lecture, I'll discuss about a repulsion motor. To be more precise, I'll be talking about single phase repulsion type induction motor. So to start with, construction, you'll have stator and rotor. Stator construction is pretty much similar to or you can say exactly the same as three phase induction motor construction. But in case of this repulsive type, you'll have a single phase winding, not a three phase winding, you'll have a single phase winding, that's it. And coming to the rotor construction, which is something interesting. A rotor construction is just the same as DC machine rotor, yes. DC machine rotor construction and repulsive type induction motor rotor construction is just the same. What, what do you have in case of DC machine rotor? You'll have armature winding, you'll have the commutator, you're having the brushes, just the same you'll have in case of this also. This is the construction. You can see the stator construction over here. Stator frame, stator core, just like a three phase induction motor. Stator winding, single phase winding. Only one winding is there. Stator winding, single phase winding, and you are giving a single phase supply. Okay. So, as single phase supply is given to this, currents will flow in the single phase winding, this winding. Okay. I'm just representing the current. Stator currents are flowing in this. Now stator currents are flowing like this. These are all cross, these are all dots. The flux, the flux associated because of these currents is, see here, here currents are going this way and coming out like this, right? So flux is downwards, flux is acting downwards in this axis. So if I represent the flux, this is the flux. Flux is acting, acting downwards. So north here, south pole here. Sometimes, you know, some textbooks do give stator construction something like this. They will give it this way. Instead of giving, uh, you know, distributed winding, they will use concentrated winding. Just for easy understanding, they will try to give this representation concentrated winding representation but actually speaking the winding is distributed winding just for the easy understanding only they'll make it salient pole uh, type stator but actually speaking this is what the stator construction of a repulsion type induction motor now coming to the rotor stator construction is over now rotor construction i'm just having a rotor just like a dc machine okay dc machine rotor and you're having a commutator and there will be some brushes over here. You will have brushes. Here there is a brush. Okay. And here there is a brush. And these two brushes are short circuited. These two brushes are short circuited. Now for easy analysis purpose, I'm removing just for easy analysis. Okay. I'm removing this commutator. And I'm representing the brushes over here. And these brushes are short circuited. So the complete representation, commutator brush, short circuit representation, I'm just putting it like this for easy analysis. Okay. So this is what the construction. Now, if you see one thing here, at this side, this side you have one dot, suppose here. So correspondingly here, you are having some induced EMF due to induction, mutual induction principle due to mutual induction principle. This stator winding will induce some EMF in this rotor windings, rotor conductors. That's what induced EMF, all this side induced EMF is positive, this side induced EMF is negative. Let me repeat the point. You have a brushes or not. Brushes are there, not there. It doesn't matter. 
there is a stator you have given a stator some voltage that is setting up some flux that flux is changing with respect to time because you are giving ac supply that changing flux is linking with these rotor conductors and it induces emf in these rotor conductors because of the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and this side suppose if all conductors are having positive and this side you'll have negative induced emf induced emf is over now because you are short circuiting with the help of brushes it will drive some current it is driving some current look at this all these conductors are connected through commutator and all these conductors this side are connected in series these conductors are connected in series so this en entire induced emf collectively and this entire induced emf collectively will drive some currents through this short circuit path okay so there is some current flowing in the rotors that rotor currents will drive some flux and that flux that flux is having north pole here south pole here it is having it is also having its own magnetic field so this is a north pole this is a south pole so because of the stator supply on the rotor north pole and south pole are created or induced is that point clear okay now look at this stator flux stator is also having a north pole a rotor is also having a north pole here also south pole and south pole so the point is careful with the point suppose i'm just plotting with respect to alpha with respect to alpha i'm plotting current rotor currents if alpha is zero if alpha is zero then it will drive total this path emf is more so it will drive huge amount of rotor current and this also drive huge amount of rotor current rotor currents are maximum when alpha is 0 degrees as i am changing this alpha emf in this path the resultant emf in this path see here 1 2 3 4 5 five are positive two are negative so induced emf net induced emf in this path is less so current is less as you change the angle towards 90 degrees current has become zero at 90 degrees rotor current is zero amperes so here also there is no torque and here also there is no torque at zero degrees torque is zero at 90 degrees torque is zero torque on the rotor now suppose i am placing some angle in between 0 and 90 degrees then what will happen then yes there will be current and there will be rotor poles north pole and south pole yes they will create and this north pole and this north pole will be attracted or repelled repelled in which direction the repulsive force will be in this direction and this south pole this south pole will be repelled in this direction there will be a net torque and it will continue to rotate the rotor is continuing to rotate in clockwise direction the first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach get the best education with phi square academy and make your gate electrical dreams come true download the app now